Karen has been in a car accident and is severely injured. A witness calls their mutual friend, Brucie, describing what she has just seen. <laughs> Oh my God, we'll see. Karen, she was bleeding everywhere, in front of everyone, like everywhere. She's just lying there on road in front of everyone to see. This bitch is moving mad. Can you imagine? She had the audacity to try and limp. Who the fuck limps? <laughs> Jamie, of course the police turned up. That was mad in itself. They tried to arrest her, but of course, her being her, she passed out, so they had to hold her down and handcuff her. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't even responding. Can you imagine? Like, who doesn't respond to the police? <laughs> <laughs> they called her name numerous times, but she didn't respond. At one point, she even had the audacity to stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> that girl's moving mad. They thought maybe she might have physical illness. Like, before she passed out, her left leg and arm were limp. Like, she didn't seem to have much control. Can you imagine how dangerous she is if her left leg and arm are broken? <laughs> her parents said it's the devil and they're praying for her. <laughs> I mean, we all told her running wasn't good for her. <laughs> Everyone knows running is bad for you. Uh, Even that skateboarding, <laughs> boxing, <laughs> football. <sighs> and her weird friends in wheelchairs she started hanging around with. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> She used to say her leg felt funny in school and she used to walk funny on it sometimes. <laughs> Imagine if this is our attitude towards physical ailment, genetic disorders, life-threatening accidents, cancer, and even the celebrated childbirth. Thank you.